Dar es Salaam has more than 6 million inhabitants and it is home to many government offices and embassies. Over the years, the city has experienced rapid urbanization and industrialization, but it has come with both a gift and a curse. Environmental pollution and poor solid waste management are increasingly harmful to Dar es Salaam residents. They have been linked to extreme floods, heat, and outbreak of diseases like typhoid and cholera. Flooding has become a common occurrence for Dar es Salaam dwellers due to the clogging of canals and poor city planning. Areas like Manzese, Tandika, for instance, are some of the dirtiest due to the accumulation of waste from various suburbs. The 2004 Environmental Management Act makes it the responsibility of every citizen to ensure that the environment is clean. Some cities, such as Kilimanjaro and Mwanza, charge hefty fines to those caught polluting as part of efforts to reduce and eliminate waste in their areas. Polluters can be set back with about 20, a payment of about $23 or face imprisonment of up to seven years. Unlike other cities, Dar es Salaam seems not to be paying attention to that. This year alone, more than 100,000 marine plants and organisms are est estimated to have died from ingestions of toxins caused by waste dumped into the Indian Ocean. And things could get worse going forward. Estimates projected by 2025, the population of Dar es Salaam city could nearly double to almost 12 million people. An urgent solution is needed to match this growing population with a waste management policy that equals this dynamic city.